What's up, 49er faithful? So, it's probably a couple of hours from our loss from the Tennessee Titans. Uh, my reaction, probably like a lot of y'all's, is not happy. Uh, we came out firing. Um, you know, it looked all good. Um, you know, I was actually at an event, so I was trying to watch as much as the game as I possibly could. Um, man, I really, really, really wanted to get off the negative hype, and it's just hard to do that um, in this kind of a season. When you are eight and seven, it's hard not to feel some kind of frustration. It's been a definitely an up-and-down season, um, just when you think, we got it turned around and we're rolling in the right direction. Some stuff hap happens. I don't even want to mention the names. I don't want to mention quarterback. I don't want to mention Garoppolo and Trey Lance and the cornerbacks and Norman and Thomas and da 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 da. Um, I think we have a beast of a team. I still think we are a very, very talented team. If we make some changes, and fix a few things, I still think we could beat anybody. Uh, it, it, there was a point in that game where I looked at it like, man, we should be up 21 to 0 right now. And sometimes you make a couple of mistakes, and that's all it takes. This is the NFL. It's a, you know one game a week. Uh, you got to make it all count. And when you're having certain continuous mistakes, whether it be interceptions, I'll just stop there. It matters. Those are 14-point swings. Um, we got a beast of a team that should not be wasted this year. We shouldn't say, hey, we'll do it next year. Hey, but, hey, let's do it the next game. Let's correct what needs to be corrected and do it the next game. One thing I did notice as well is when Jimmy G was talking in his press conference, he was – I could mention the excuses, this, that, and other, but he was smirking. He was smirking in a loss. In a battle of the NFL, you're smirking in a loss? Show some fire, dude. Show some heart. I done said it a couple of years, maybe a whole year ago. And even before, I said it a year ago on a video, but even before then, I said, show heart, man. You don't got that fire. And someone tried to come at me talking about how can you judge someone's heart, man? Because I know what heart is, man. I come from the gutter. I know what it takes to come out the gutter because I'm out the gutter. Ironically enough, I got all my uh, garden tools in the back, man. I got the blower. I got the shovel. I got the power sprayer. I got the net for crabbing. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's, time, it's time to do some landscaping. It's time to plant some new seeds and watch it grow because the dead branches need to be cut off. You know, it's 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 time. It's time. There ain't nothing that I could say that a lot of other people are going to say. We know part of inside the game, there's politics. There's politics with the coaches and the owners and you know, they could say, hey, we're still in position. Maybe we want the seventh seed so we could play a lesser team. Who knows what the real thing is? I do notice another thing. When Jimmy G was mic'd up, it seemed like, uh, man, there are some things that we don't know about that happens behind the scenes because there was an instance when Jimmy G was mic'd up and he went over to the guys toward the end of one of the game when we were winning. He said, hey, guys, we got to go down and score again. I know that's just talk. But shouldn't you be trying to score every single time? You got to go to the sideline and remind the guys, hey, wink, wink. Hey, we got to go score on this next drive, too. What is that? You should already be locked in trying to score every time you got the ball. So there's little minor details that I pay attention to that I don't know if everybody else sees, but there's some games that being that are being played that none of us know about. And it's unfortunate when there's games within the games 
whether it be the refs, Las Vegas, your own team. Sometimes certain teams, you know, who knows, might not want to win as many games, might want to stir up some controversy, might want to make it interesting, might might want to make it a Disney movie at the end. Look how far we went down and we still rose above and barely lost it at the last second. Hey, we got to the Super Bowl. We were there. He got us there. Come on, man. Get real. Show heart. Show fire, man. Like, real talk. Man, I didn't even want to get on this hype. I didn't want to get on the negative hype. I didn't want to get on, you know what? I'm going to let it go. You ain't going to see one comment from me. I'm pretty sure all the other fans are going to do it now. To where I don't even got to do it, thank God. I don't even got to go on a whole Jimmy Garoppolo rampage. But you see the true champions. The true champions are the one that truly got the fire inside. And they will do whatever it takes to win. And they will make sure they ain't going to continue to make the same mistakes over and over and over and over. Uh, brick by brick, man, you done promised to restore the legacy. Do what you promised, man. Quit playing games with it. Like, this is one big money bag game or something. Like, uh, I don't know what to say. Um... You might as well give the kid a chance. What else you got to lose? What are you afraid you're going to get him injured? You afraid he ain't ready? You afraid of this? You afraid of that? You ain't afraid to keep on throwing Garoppolo out there? That ain't going to do nothing. You might do okay one game. He's gonna. We already know what it is, man. It's not his fault. He's mediocre. It's y'all fault for keep throwing him out there. You know, the fastball ain't working. Throw a curveball. Curveball ain't working, throw a changeup. The changeup ain't working. Yes, I know sometimes you got to be consistent in the belief and the foundation and this, that, and the other. But sometimes you got to make a move with heart. Like, come on, show some heart. Show some heart. Play to win the game. You know darn well Trey Lance is more talented and he's ready. Quit playing games. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 